This is SAT test 3, non-calculator question number 20. College Board is asking about trigonometry and describing two triangles. Triangle ABC, angle B is a right angle. And BC equals 16, AC equals 20. Triangle DEF is similar. So same angle, same ratio of one-third. Triangle DEF is a smaller triangle that is similar. I should draw that a little bit better. Where D corresponds to A. E corresponds to B and F corresponds to C, and these are similar triangles. What is the value of the sine of angle F? I could find all three sides of the second triangle, but that may not be necessary. The first triangle, I can either use the Pythagorean theorem, which is 20 squared equals 16 squared plus Let's call this third side x squared. So 400 equals 256 plus x squared. Subtract 256. And x squared equals 144. So x equals 12. That gives us the three sides for the second triangle, but since trigonometric functions are equal for similar triangles, the sine of angle F is equal to the sine of angle C. And we recall that the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The side opposite angle C is 12. The hypotenuse of this triangle is the side opposite the right angle, the longest side, that's 20. So the answer is 12 over 20, which is the same as 6 over 10, or 3 over 5. Alternatively, I could find the lengths of these sides, since each side is one third of the corresponding side, 20 over 3, 16 over 3, and 12 over 3, and working directly with angle F, the sine of angle F is the opposite over the hypotenuse for the smaller triangle. The side opposite angle F is 12 over 3. The hypotenuse is 20 over 3. And if I multiply that by 3 thirds, I get 12 over 20, the same value I got for C. So it simplifies to the same value of 3 over 5. We should always remember that the sine of an angle in a right triangle is the opposite side of the hypotenuse, and the cosine is the adjacent side of the hypotenuse. College Board is likely to ask you one question on trigonometry during your SAT.